And it seems to have been programmed. It seems to have been programmed. Did you program it? Oh, no, I never did. So you want to do it very positively. You want your program to really build up on you. Well, you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. You want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it positively. Well, I think that's what happened. Well, I don't think you want to do it
it seems to me when I hear words like reciprocity, and uh, it seems to me like everyone's trying to create something that would do everything at random. I said, why don't you just tie her cats to a dog and see what happens? Uh, and well, I can tell you. It's, it's, well, I hear about that. But wait a minute. The idea is, what, I, what I'm starting to understand is that everyone here is creating things that are more and more complicated so they can learn how to understand them. And once they understand it, they get bored and they make it more complicated so they have to learn again. And there's a kind of conflict between this if you're all going to do art with your computers, then you have to, for some place, I think you have to understand that you're going to have to control the medium that you're going to use. The guy that uses a brush and uses color doesn't ask what the color wants to do. He puts it on the, on the, on the canvas because that's what he wants there. And I don't think that we have this technology with the computer to let it make us, we're going to, we're going to still have to control it. What you're still trying to create is another line. We talked about lines at lunch. You got another line, but even it's even tricky because you even have to turn it on before it's going to bite you. Well, you know, that's the fundamental difference between us. <laughs> I'd say that's a real puzzle I was never going to fix. In fact, I don't believe that I need to build devices that I control. And, and I don't need. I don't think I believe that. And and I think it helps me to uh, build devices that tell me things no, as well as things that I don't. You have to control, but what happens is. When you talk to it, I mean, the same thing that, like, my, my interface is a ball. My, it's like, it hasn't changed in 4,000 years, and I have the same problem, because if the floor is different, it's going to do something I never expect, and I have to deal with it. And it's not to control. What, I'm, what I find the conflict is, it's using words control and not control, and you want to be random. But what I think well, you said random. Right. Yeah, right. random. Right. But what I think everyone's creating is something to help them learn. See, it's not that you want to control it, you want to learn to understand it. If you program it to be random or do things when you didn't expect it to. No, that's not what I'm doing. I want to learn to understand myself. Understanding it, I already know. I built the thing. But the point is, well, there's a couple of levels. You see, first of all, I built it, okay. But then, in order to understand it, or partially understand it, because there is a limit to everything, I have to listen to it. So that finally, just because I built it doesn't mean I understand it. I have to put it out in space and let it do its thing. And then I get to know it on a whole other level. In other words, I know it from the standpoint of, oh, if I hear something wrong, I think, oh, yeah, what page of the code is that on? And I can go there. But then finally there's a notion of how do I understand it as a person that interacts with it as a performer? How do I understand that as a person that's listening to it? And then basically I start to find that that starts to reflect on how am I understanding myself? And this is the, this is the whole point. Just focusing on, once again, and the same as with the, as, as with the other piece we play on the tape, people keep focusing on the drum instead of on the person. And so once again, I find that I feel a little bit of that right now, which is to say that at a, at a certain stage, we're focusing on uh, the technology is there to, from my standpoint, my way of looking at it, is to focus it in on the human process. So if I'm, you know, otherwise, it could be a technological exercise, exercising precisely control, where at a certain point, I can achieve control or mastery, and then I'm back with that master-slave discourse that I talked about at the beginning that I'm extremely uncomfortable with and really am trying my best to sort of stay away from. Um, uh, even in, in the sense of, because, well, partly because of my background as an instrumentalist, where that kind of, uh, that kind of notion of mastery and control is very much a part of folk ways of learning the trombone. It's very military, you know. And um, so at a certain point, there's no question of, there's no way someone is going to hand, the, hand this African person a trombone and says, well, I'm sorry, but this trombone doesn't speak the same language I do. You get fired for doing that. You see. But there's no notion of that in the culture. But in other cultures, there is this notion that you are, in fact, learning from the thing. And I don't know. I, I really, it'd be very interesting to note, really, if you think of, if you can even reconceptualize the practice of playing an instrument or manipulating balls or whatever, along the lines of learning from the situation. What happens when you do that? I'm not saying that's what you need to do, because I don't know what is involved in doing this. It's a very complex thing, and I can't even like, do two of them. I just had a different concern, because I'm uh, very close to what you're saying, is that that's, that's why from, from this side and that side, there's, there seems to be a confusion, because I understand what you're saying, that the, you create something there, and then you're learning from what it gets back to you. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly. Yeah. And it's the exact, well, 
I'll talk about it tomorrow when it still might be speech for tomorrow. But, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think we're really close to the same line. But there's this, there seems to me some kind of conflict about, yeah, about the technology. And I don't quite understand what people hope that the computer, what they aspire for the for the technology. That's what I don't understand. Well, they aspire to it. If you think about what do people aspire with, when we talk about Santeria, what do people aspire for there? They're trying to affect the God. No, <laughs> it's not for what we aspire to do with the technology. It's like when I hear people say, well, well, how can we create it so it does completely random things? Is that what you actually aspire for? Is what we hope technology becomes? It, you mean something where it does what? Completely, completely random meaning? Yeah, or it's, it's going to keep in something that you're not expecting. Or, or it's going to do whatever it wants, because when I hear... Um, well, yeah, it's it. or is this why don't you, you made the connection with working with a person on stage? Well, they can do the unexpected thing and, and not be random, first of all. Or they can do the expected thing and be random. Both of those are possibilities. So randomness isn't really in the picture here. So I think there's, it may be a means to an end. But there may be uh, something that you can... What I'm trying to identify is the idea of what it means to construct a subjectivity. And... I've already constructed one, you're looking at it. <laughs> and then another one you just heard. And so there are some relationships between those. And so what's at issue is how, sub how subjectivity is constructed and what we need to hear as markers of subjectivity through sound. I think that's so, sort, of the, sort of the real issue, and not really the, the technical part of whether I can get it to work better or something. I mean, uh, the, the, the thing I think a lot of people have never understood, or in other words, I haven't even articulated sufficiently, is the notion of really how little information sonically is needed to establish personality. That we don't need approved notions of what, what synthesizers sound best. Because uh, if you listen to, um, you know, uh, old Chick career records where they play sine wave solos, well, there's something, someone is doing something there that caused those sine wave solos to be interesting. Uh, to those who lack that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so, so um, but there is, some, there is some sort of marker of humanness there, which seems to be independent of uh, really this idea of improved timbre or notions of, well, we need to be this rich in order to, in order for there to be a chance of, of having humanness come through or having a sense of emotional transduction <coughs> come through. I know, uh, this is, this is, this is a really curious issue, but, um, I'm sort of coming down more on the side of I would like to have enough, not command, but influence in the medium, enough fluidity of motion to be able to think about these issues and to use the computer music situation to think about these other issues, which seem to be the, the, that's what you're hearing when you hear the piece, you know, hopefully. Um, yeah. I was just wondering if if you think there's an inherent disadvantage in using these devices that were initially conceived as aesthetic devices in an incarnative way, or if it would be better if we had devices that were created specifically for an incarnative work to be taught in the casket? Which devices do you need? Though? Well, say, for instance, using. Like, for instance, interfaces that are called MIDI controllers. Do you think there's something more inherent than simply the name that we use as a controller? Do you think it would be better if we were using something else to, if we wanted to use that? <coughs> well, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is that um, people are starting to think about how the discourse affects what you're doing, going to do. In other words, the design of new devices um, can proceed along the old lines. I mean, the, the first cars look like horses and buggies. So that as we move further, and maybe there will be a certain group of people who are going to continue to make those kinds of instruments. And there's no notion of progress here, in other words, because they're interested in them, and that's their concept. That's, that's the culture they come from. But other people, you see, as you start to maybe have more cultural diversity in the institutions that create these things, uh, you'll start to see this dialogue become a little bit more heated, I think. But right now, we see that um, there's a kind of depressing homogeneity uh, 
seen, seen at least from the outside, which um, results in a certain sameness. And there are a few pockets of brilliance where you start to see this, where this diversity produces the kind of dialogue where people can actually say, well, let's not just take this notion of control as a face value. Um, let's see if really this control, well, how is that making us think? You know, is, that, is there somehow something embedded in the discourse that if we examine that and reform it, that will come to something different? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you described the feedback of making the program and then playing with it and listening to what it does and kind of learning about yourself and that. I think one of the interesting things about um, the work is that you've used the program with so many different people besides yourself. Is there a difference between the way you learn from the program when you're playing with it yourself and when you watch it play somebody else? Uh, well, yeah, because you learn about things that, um, first of all, it plays differently with different people so that you learn about things that, you know, you hear things that are different. And sometimes you have to act to sort of make adjustments. Like, I remember when we worked together that time, I had to make all these adjustments. Speed it up. Yeah, I had to speed it up. It's John, <laughs> you know, I'm a really relaxed kind of guy, you know. John is like racing along. <laughs> Gotta, gotta get this thing moving, you know. Um, so yeah, you sort of learn actually, in a certain sense that the, you, I'd like to find a way for it to do that without my having to adjust it. Because what that means is those kinds of adjustments. In in the argument, what the program is doing represents not my theory of how I interact with music, with musicians, but a certain notion that I have about a range of interactions that seems to work. Okay. Now, what that means is that it seems to work for me, from for my there's, it, there's an aesthetic position being staked out by the way the, the, the way in which the interaction is taking place. So that someone can come along who is not compatible with that aesthetic position. And in the extreme case you can't do the piece with it. Because it's just so that's um, I would regard that as being my problem and not theirs. Um, so, I, you know, the person I think I had the most trouble with, the person who absolutely could not do it, was John Oswald. Um, I still remember that. Um, too hard, because it's, his music is so different from mine. My way of thinking about sound and, and time and form is just so different. And so that, that ends up being put into the machine, so the machine's way of thinking about time, it just can't deal together. But that's not so unusual. I have people I can't play with either. I you know, just say, say one thing from my experience that unless my ears are deceiving me, that you use pretty well the same sound source as when we did it, as also when we lost it, did the same. Well, I don't same know, you know, I don't know. What did we do? 89. 89. This is 92, 93. Probably different. The question is really did, probably different. how important is it to you actually the sounds that are made? Is the process that's going on for you the, the thing that's really very bad? Or is it like this? Could you explain what you mean by sound? Because I gave a definition of sound well, as being you know, personality and not time. Yeah, so so. running an instrument, I don't know what it was, a Yamaha or something, when we did it. And um, there were some criticisms at the time, I remember, for example, they, they didn't like electronic sound. And I said, well, I thought, I'm speaking, I'll speak before you then. I thought, well, George was probably only interested in the process, you know, the sound was maybe taking into consideration. But now having just heard that, because I've never heard that recording, of course, that with Roscoe from about three or four years later, it seemed like it was the same sound source. Well, that's interesting because um, I like the idea that you heard continuity, even though the sound source isn't really the same. No. So, um, totally different instruments, and uh, from that, from then to now. But the conception seems similar, so that, that could be, there could be a couple of reasons for that. Number one, my dogged stubbornness. In um, insisting on us that the sound is not equivalent to the sound source. In other words, that the notion of sound as I'm using it, uh, the program is basically identical. So, yes, so, that's what I'm saying. So that, that's what's producing the sound, which is to say that that sort of personality, if you will, that set of that set of interactivities, in, of internal interactions, which is producing the way of playing. And that really hasn't changed much. Yeah. And so that is really producing the sound. Now, um, so yeah, that's really a really good point. So, so in a way, 
I would have to say that I am interested in the sound if that's what we mean by sound. Well, this, if what we mean by sound, sound, the sound is fine, folks. I mean, you work out the cello thing with it and that, the saxophone. I mean, there have to be extreme differences in sound sources, but we're not going to be everything else. Mm-hmm. But we're working with this program, which is the same, which is basically you know, what you've done. Mm-hmm. And then, but then the electronic sounds that are the signposts of what you've made, in fact, seem to be kept within the same sort of area, aesthetically, if not the same instruments. And that, to me, is quite interesting, particularly also what you were saying earlier about, you know, you didn't want to take on board, basically, the, the white the account of sort of aesthetics of, of sound and stuff. You wanted to develop your own, your own way of doing it. And um, I just... Uh, I'm interested by the fact that you're quite happy to, to leave the piece, in a sense, and let the, the, other, the extra, the human element, you know, be the difference, in a way. I mean, in, in an extreme way, because you don't, you don't, you're not interested in changing the electronic sound so, so much. Well, I'm, I'm kind of, well, sort of, but in fact, I have changed the electronic sound source. What I haven't changed is the way in which the source is you know, the touch, <coughs> you know, like, like you change, you know, you ch- I've changed the instrument, you know, there's a, it's a really different instrument, and, you know, there are a lot of little minor changes, but it seems as though the touch of the, of the player is the same, so you start to see that there are more of those similarities and differences um, in that, so that that notion of sound as being touch, as being personality, is the notion I'm dealing with here, and the sort of notion of which box it is. Um, I'm happy to I'm happy to see that changing the box didn't change the personality. You know, <laughs> you know, that's the part I really. Yeah. So, but I but I, I would call that the sound. Anyway, but that's a, that's a real terminological difference. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Because I've got one last one, which was the senior last one. So let's get you start talking off before. Did you not know? Yeah, I'm sorry, we've got you. We've got you. Yeah. Can, uh, last year, I think I think I understand I'm saying it's true that in the music, the, the boxes might be different, but the approach to sound, unlike everybody, we have, like you say, our sound. And it's true that music is interesting, and I think when I'm after what you have said, like you associate this kind of a um, timbre and to, you know, certain snobbism or certain white class bureaucratic income thing, you know, like this always looking for timbre and, and developing the right beautiful sound, almost a kind of fascistic maybe um, approach of, of purity of sound. And, 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 and it's interesting when you hear the sound, and it might have changed a little bit. It's like a really statement with you almost that you keep your sound very close to the box. It's true. You know? It's Jap- Japanese culture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like you don't want to interfere with that. You don't want to. And it's almost like a, you're almost sticking your, how do you say, you know, kind of like, huh? Sticking your nose up when you do that. To me, that's how I, I often tell that. <laughs> you know? Well, it's funny because. Um, I start to see that there is this, uh, certainly in more of the popular culture way of using these things, that's how it is. Um, I think there, there was this sense a while back that um, the important thing was to somehow get in there and change the sounds. And I have to say I'm fairly um, sensitive to these things, and I have to say that I'm not hearing a big difference. I mean, maybe some people think that all that work they put in really made a difference, and I thought to myself, well, that's great, but um, I'm not really sure it did. And so, but that's just my own personal prejudice. Um, but what... As a child, you're really into texture, in a sense. I mean, there's a lot of it in your playing. There's a lot of original sound and original person stuff in the area. I guess, well, I guess I see it more like this. Um, I mean, if I looked at... Um, I don't see any discussion of texture separate and as a separate thing where it suddenly clears the texture separate And mm-hmm. we're getting to that now. Like it's back to hi fi. You know, if we hear enough uh, if we hear enough of the right kinds of harmonics, then we say, Well this this is this is correct. 
And this sort of PC notion of sound, I've never bought into it. I'm sorry. I can't buy it. I, I mean, I don't see it. I mean, and I really um, started to see how little variation there is, regardless of what the box is that's used. Um, unless the, the sampled sounds didn't seem to help, the FM sounds didn't seem to help. And maybe there's some magical thing that people are doing. But I haven't heard it, and I've listened to a lot of this stuff. Um, and most people are not saying, hey, that's realistic. Most people are saying, well, that's an electronic sound. <laughs> so, so my feeling is, well, I stopped fighting that battle years ago. I just don't care. If it's electronic, great. That's where it's coming from. And um, I'm pretty happy with that choice because I found that I wasn't alone in making it, that there are a lot of people that are coming on now, especially like people much younger than me who say, well, this is a drug box and maybe it should sound that way. Instead of me trying to, well, there's the human part, you know. <laughs> At the same time, I do start, I'm in an intermediate stage. I do sort of want to feel that I can intervene as a human being in that process. Okay. So that's a, that's a very... Um, it's an odd place to be. It's an odd place to be. I'm not sure I have a big answer there. Can I throw one last kind of stupid question at you, which um, hopefully will answer on other people, because it is really stupid. But to get back to your virtual drama, uh, to what extent do you think that gesture devoid of its physical references um, is capable of emerging with any kind of artistically interesting features to it. In other words, you talk, you, you show these people. Boy, of what? Of physical reference? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, take well, the drum well, away, uh, take the pump away, take, take the usual material object away. Um, you're dealing with people who are, are simply carrying on the um, physical object experience to the To the sort of domain. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Now, what is the, the problem here? Is what? Uh, what, are you, what are you? Can you do, do you think it's conceivable that um, instrumental skill of the kind that you're showing can develop and live an artistically interesting life of its own when it no longer is anchored in these material instruments? Or do you think we need to keep coming back to these material objects and instruments as reference points? Well, I can only speak really in terms of that tape and that and that piece. There, there, there is, you know, people who have been trained for just a long time um, maybe have to develop new techniques, um, but then they're used to that, they're doing it all the time, that's what they do, that's what, it's not so much you become an instrumentalist, like you, 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 what that means to become is that once you never really make it, you sort of search for these new things to do, and new ways of doing them. Um, so it seems that I don't see any real difference there because what you're really talking about is changing your relationship and your and your conception of what your body can do or should do. And it seems in that sense there is a certain independence or at least there's a certain relationship there. Um, there's not, you see, because what happens is if they were just moving their bodies in space, but they're not really just moving their bodies in space, they're expecting to hear things. So they are tied to the sound. But they're not sort of touching something in a physical way like that. But there is a sense of touch and reaching out for that sound. So it's the closest thing to doing what somebody said is actually just saying, well, you can't really touch sound. So, but I'm trying to say that there is that possibility of looking for an environment we can conceptualize what that might be if you could touch the sound. I think that's where, really where I am here with that. So I don't think I'm really taking anything away. Or rather, the idea is that what got taken away uh, let us see what was still there um, and let us sort of ha heighten the awareness of what that was. It's also an interesting place for the music because we're close to the issue of dance and the bodies without objects. Well, that, that part was really scary because of <coughs> not being a choreographer. Yeah. You know, I sort of it ended up uh, throwing out all the ideas from doing this elaborate movement shit. You know, and I said, well, I, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> no, not in front of people I really know. <laughs> so, so you just do what you do, man. You know, that's enough. Just be yourself. You know, don't be this thing I'm trying to be. You know, and so that was more in line with what I said I was about anyway. You know. Yeah.
records on this issue, Zay, I'm sure they have a lot to say. Well, it's interesting to hear about them. Yes. Thank you very much. Wat is dat eigenlijk? Wat is dat ding? De hele stoel die trilt mee met het geluid dat je maakt. Dus als je op de knop drukt, dan ontstaat een geluid dat je ook kunt voelen. Moet je voelen? Mag ik het voelen? Nee, ik voel het. Mag het ook even nemen? Ik wil het niet voelen. Ik wil het niet voelen. Come on. 
Ja, ja. 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 Ja, Jongen, jongen, de watjes zeg. Ja, zeker. Nee, maar niet. We gaan zo, hè? Nee, ik ga maar zo naar de vier. Doe nou eens wat. Kom op, knappe kouder, want jij moet het met tv zien. Ik heb het allemaal wat te doen. Ja, dat is het. Ja, dat is Ja, dat is Ja, Wat maak je zich dat? Ik heb het wel Oké, vijf keer. Oh, dat is die. Oh, hij is het raarste beeld. Ja, ja Arthie. Dat is een loser. Is dat dan? Maar ik dacht, het gaat met geluid. Oh, ja, het wordt met geluid. Het is gewoon geluid wordt ja. getriggerd. En dan wordt zeg maar de video. En het komt niet in de video van vandaag, van snel, achteruit gedraaid. Jullie moeten echt met geluid moeten weg gaan werken. Kan niet anders. Nou, dat is wel een super mooi. Kijk, daar is die camera. Ja, precies. Hallo. Ja, doe het eens. Ja, moet je helemaal niet stuk voor. Jullie moeten een beetje achteruit komen, hier in het licht staan, want anders zien jullie helemaal niet. Wij maar even een stukje achteruit. Ja, je doet het niet omdat jullie niks te zeggen. Hallo! Hallo! Oké. Okay. <laughs> Yo! <Okay. laughs> ja, oké, okay, leuk. Oh, 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 oh,
sarà buono tanto per me sarà What will happen here, actually? Oh, nothing. It's uh, the baby. Oh, it's the baby. Oh. So now the dog is angry. Ik ga 
er ook zo. Kok. Zou jij ook zo gaan? Ja, maar ik ga eerst even doen. Dan wacht ik op je. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 